Hi y'all, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, and um, you know we've been having this really amazing discussion uh, at the GrowYourOwnGroceries.org website on growing potatoes and tires, and it's generated a huge amount of, um, of conversation, and I've really been delighted at, at the input that you've been bringing. People have been bringing forward links with results on what they've been doing, where they've been doing their own growing, as well as links on research on the toxicity of tires. Uh, and, and we've had a broad, oh boy, I always have black roosters running around. I don't know why. I'm sorry. His name is Buddy. I keep eating these guys, and somehow I keep ending up with more black crowing roosters in my life. Anyway, uh, uh, we, we've had this amazing conversation, and it's, it's all over the place. And to be honest with you, I, I just can't decide. Um, you know what what uh, there's been all all sorts of aspects to the conversation are they toxic are they not there are people that have been growing hugely successfully getting great yields no concerns about toxicity there are other people that have been growing and say no i, I didn't like billy for example sent in and he he didn't get really good results at all some other people <coughs> writing about too much heat um, and then of course lots and lots of people concerned about the toxicity so my husband came home the other day and he said hun uh, you know, the, the truck needs new tires, and I've got the four old ones. Do you want them? And I said, yeah, you know, we've got this conversation going on. Let's do some experiments. So I've got uh, some tires, and what I want to do with this is I'm, I'm going to grow some potatoes in these tires, and there are two things that I want to get out of this experiment. One is I want to see just what it takes to grow. I mean, uh, are we going to get more yield out of this? Is this an effective growing method? What sort of trouble am I going to run into? How easy is it? How difficult is it? You know, what are some of the, the, the problems? Uh, and the second thing I want to do is w once we get a yield, if we get a yield, knock on tires. Is that a new modern phase? Um, anyway, <laughs> I want to test the potatoes. Um, let's let's send them into a lab and see if they are toxic or not. I mean, let's, let's, let's answer this question for ourselves. Um, I will totally admit that I don't have any idea where to send a potato in to test it to see if it's toxic or not. So if you have any idea of what we want to test for and where we want to test it, please put them down in the comments section and let me know. Um, I'm going to be doing that interview with John Jevons uh, uh, here uh, just in a few days, and I'm going to ask him if he knows of a lab, and I'll ask around some other places. But if you have some information, uh, you know, we'll do this. So here's what I've been doing to grow these uh, taters. The first of all is, and my husband suggested this, and I, I think it's a really great uh, suggestion. He said, why don't you wash them out a little bit first to just get any residue off of them? So I hose them down. I didn't go crazy with a lot of soap or brushes or anything. I basically just hose them down pretty good with as much pressure as I could. And then after I'd hose them down, I realized, you know, it's almost impossible to get water out of tires. Have you ever had a tire around the house and you're like, you just can't, they're, the shape they have, they're just designed. It's all, so I said, you know, standing water, soil, plants, that's not a good combination. I know this is going to cause some kind of funkiness that's going to really screw up this project. So I, I got a drill and I drilled some holes about every six or eight inches along the, um, the, the, the sides of the tire here to drain. And I'll let you know the first drill bit I used was like a quarter inch or something like that. These tires they're making these days are really have this self-healing kind of fabric. And, um, you know, quarter inch hole, it like meshed back up and hardly drained. So I used a bigger drill bit and then now I'm going to be duplicating this experiment again at a, at a little school that I, where I teach some kids down the road. And when I do it with them, we're going to actually use a, at least a half inch drill bit. Uh, if not bigger, so just a little note on that. So uh, after I'd gotten them cleaned and drilled, the next thing is I found a spot that's fairly level here, and I put down a piece of plywood because you know I'm I'm trying to keep uh, gophers and moles and fire ants from getting in here. Which is one of the main reasons that I'm interested in growing these tires is I have a very difficult time in my sandy soil growing root crops. Uh, we just always have problems with those pests. And then, of course, also growing vertically is definitely more efficient. And then, and then, you know, this is a waste product of our culture. And if we can find useful, good, useful resource, ways to use these resources, I think that's something that we should strive to do. So I'm, I'm really hopeful that this experiment works out. And again, of course, I do have that same concern that, that a lot of you have about the toxicity. 
So anyway, I put the plywood down, and I got it oh, you know, about as level as I could. I'm not super exact about that. Put the tire down. Uh, I've inlaid the tire with just a layer of hay in the bottom, just as something to be absorbent of water and excess uh, stuff. And then I, I filled it with um, a mixture of, of really good compost and soil. This is really rich, fertile stuff. And for your information, these tires are pretty big. You can see here the truck tires. And it took me three of these six-gallon buckets full of the compost in order to, to fill this up to give you an idea of how much material I used. And of course, the bucket broke in the middle of the project. <laughs> did you see that video I did on buckets? So um, now, and now I'm planting them. And I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put, you know, five or six taters in here. And you know the golden rule about planting potatoes, right? Eye to the sky. You, and and uh, I, ideally, I like to use uh, potatoes that are about this size, the egg-shaped size. We're going to give these a try put five of them in here. I'm going to cover them lightly and then I'm going to put a layer of hay on here just because there's, we're in a windy spot and, and we definitely are in a dry climate so a mulching is almost always mandatory in this climate. And as these things go up I'm, I'm going to add more tires and uh, fill them with a combination of both um, hay and, and compost and, and just move up and we'll go up three or four levels and and see what happens. I, I'll, uh, I'll also probably paint these guys white as we start getting into a hotter season just to help reflect the sun and reduce uh, the heat load since you know that, that's a concern in this region. But I'll, I'll be shooting future video updates and let you know about this and then we'll do the, the, the um, test on the toxicity and, and see how it goes and see if we can um, as a community come to, come to some kind of answer on this issue. So um, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, and uh, really appreciate your subscription, and I really appreciate all the input and uh, comments that, that you've been making. Hey, you can grow your own groceries. I'll see you on another video.